worm or threadworm is a type of nematode called Enterobius vermicularis. It is common in cold and temperate climates and may be found in areas such as North America and Northwest Europe. And it is transmitted via the faecal oral route and tends to affect children between the ages of 7 and 11 most frequently. The pinworms live in the lumina of the small bowel, cecum, appendix and proximal colon and don't invade the mucosa and the females migrate and lay eggs in the anus and in fact examination of the anus of suspected pinworm infestation is the way that pinworm is diagnosed clinically and pinworms may continue their migration in females up the lower genital tract to reach the endometrium, the fallopian tubes, ovaries and into the peritoneum, resulting in a granulomatous inflammatory infiltrate. The usual symptom of pinworm is itching in and around the anus. This is due to the irritative effect of the eggs. When infestation of pinworms is heavy, this can result in abdominal pain, nausea and vomiting. But pinworm is an incidental finding in approximately 13% of appendicectomies. In fact, I remember cutting up an appendix that resembled a paintbrush because of the pinworm sticking out of the appendix stump. Pinworms are small but visible to the naked eye. They are approximately 2 to 5 millimetres long. And down the microscope they can be seen to have longitudinal ridges. This is the typical appearance of an appendix containing multiple pinworms. There are several worms in the lumen, but the, the worms themselves don't actually cause any inflammation in the appendix. Here is a higher power view. And this cross section of a pinworm shows the two longitudinal ridges. Finally, this pinworm is female because it contains multiple eggs.